on, baby, you know you want to. I said no. End of story. Please, Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Jody. It's just not fair! How come everyone can go and I can't? I do everything you ask of me all week, and I never get to have any fun! For the hundredth time, you're not like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. Good night. <laughs> ah! Stia. I'll be next door. Let me know if you need anything. Work, we have to figure out what will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's calmed down. She smashed up the apartment first, but <laughs> she's calmed down. Okay. Sure. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this, but... You understand, right? I just... I need to go out tonight.
Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. Well, hello, Cole. Jody. The late for day trip, isn't it? C Cole was just um, taking me to see the shooting stars. A apparently, there's like tons up there tonight. Have you seen them yet? Listen, I don't know if Professor Dawkins would be all right with you going outside in the middle of the night. Please. I mean. It's only going to be like a few minutes, and Cole is with me, and I, 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 I've never seen a shooting star. All right. Go ahead. I'll pretend I never saw you. What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? He lost, he, he lost his voice. I think it's like a, a virus or something. So, I'm, that's more than, that's more than I've gotten out of him all, all day long, so. Well, it's not contagious, buddy. You should be home in bed if you ask me. Safer for all of us. All right, well, see ya. Go on now. Well, at least we don't have to look for Cole's car. There's cameras everywhere. Better not hang around here too long. Get in the car and start it up. Glamorous escape, but, but it'll do. Let's go, Aiden. I'll try not to attract attention, okay?
You'll forgive me, right? I'll be back soon. And don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, Aiden. Take him into the forest. Make sure he's safe. Well, this is the place. The girls must be inside already. They're not here yet. We'll wait. Don't need no preacher man to tell me right or wrong. Don't need no real estate to prove I belong. Don't need no passenger to say. How old are you, miss? I'm 21. Don't need no travel guide to go and steal the show. I just want to eliminate. Tells me where I've been. The motel is my living room. The bar is my bed. You know it's just me in the other room. Got it going on. Just me in the other room. Got it going on. Over road can be cruel sometimes. No place. Yeah, I know. Nathan's gonna be pissed. Just my bag and these clothes on my back. No woman at home to greet me. Cause I'll never be going back. Sunshine is my compass. The moon is stars on my guide. Soon as we get to years from now. I shoot some pool, darling. Sure. Ladies first. What you doing in here all on your own, son? Nothing special. It's just a regular Saturday night for me. Out with the girls. 
Truth be told, you look kind of young to be in here. How old are you? Um, I'm 21. Go in, damn it. It just ain't your lucky night. Excuse me. Your parents know you're in here? Yeah. Sure, they, they dropped me off. I'm, they'll be back. I'm, I'm sure they'll be back soon to... to pick me up. Hey! Back off! Come on, baby, you know you want to. Creep! Show yourself! Come out, you fucking coward! Get out of here, man. I don't like it. Jody! My God. Are you all right? Good God, what happened? I just wanted to go out. Just be like everyone else for once. Oh, I know, I know. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs>
I, I don't know how to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just going to tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. Of course, we'll come to see you whenever it's possible. And when you're better, you'll join us in our new home. Okay? Give me a minute, Philip. That's enough. Come on. I know how you feel, but you made the right decision. <laughs> 